This past summer, the world experienced two major events. One was the Olympics. A number of athletes trained very, very hard to win a medal for their country. Do you remember how many medals Canada won? I think it was 18. Do you remember some of the names of the athletes who won some of those 18 medals? I'm sure that some of them today are preparing for the next round of the Olympics. The other world event that uh, took place was the Eucharistic Congress right here in Canada, in Quebec City. There were no medals to be won, yet those who attended the Eucharistic Congress came home not with medals, but with great memories. I was not able to be at any one of the two events for various reasons. However, two of our parishioners attended the Congress. Both told me that it was one of the most beautiful spiritual experiences that they've ever had. So this past weekend in our parish, one of our parishioners who attended shared with the congregation her own experiences and how she saw the Congress. Jane stated that the experience was so enriching that she had a difficult time putting it into words. She told us that it was very, very inspiring to see so many people together of the same Catholic faith, about 20,000 of them. And it was so wonderful to listen to the Word of God being explained by various bishops and cardinals, and especially in the sharing of the Eucharist. My dear friends in Christ, in a society that values physical acts of stamina and skill, it's amazing that sometimes we do not understand the practices of our faith. We can understand the harsh discipline that athletes have to endure, the rigid diet, and of course, having to give up so many foods and sweets while they train, yet, Many fail to see some value, if any value, in some of the religious practices of our Catholic faith, such as the Eucharist and the wonderful gift that it is for all of humanity. So how can we make a difference? In today's first reading, St. Paul tells us to Run the race as to win. It's important to note that he does not say that only the winners shall enter the kingdom of heaven. He merely says, run, run as to win. In sports, coaches inspire athletes to perform well to win a medal. Yet, St. Paul is trying to inspire each one of us to a special dedication, or rather, a determination to take the teachings of Jesus and make them known to others. St. Paul wants us to have a clear intention or mission in our life to be disciples of Christ. So how do we become faithful followers, faithful disciples of Christ. One of those ways is pretty clear in today's gospel when Jesus tells us that we should do our discipleship, that we should talk about him without judging others, but to accept them as equal brothers and sisters in Christ. Dear friends, you know very well that none of us is perfect. We all have some faults, some bigger than others, or as Jesus calls them, some specks in our eyes, some faults within each one of us. And it is in the sacrament of reconciliation that God wipes out the specks so that we can run the race as to win the internal joy in the heavenly kingdom. 
unlike the Olympic events that are put on every few years. The Eucharist is not an event. The Eucharist is God's gift for the life of the world. The Eucharist is Jesus Christ himself. Let us then celebrate Jesus Christ, who inspires us to proclaim this truth to the nations and one day receive not a medal that you can put on your neck, but rather the reward that brings us eternal life, eternal happiness. Amen. I invite you to please join me as we offer our prayers to God the Father, trusting in his wisdom. We pray for the Holy Father, our bishops and priests, and all who preach the word of God. We pray to the Lord. We pray for retired bishops, priests, and all who preach the word of God in their ministry. We pray to the Lord. We pray for those who have called or written asking for prayers, and for those who, like my mother, participate in the daily mass via the television from home, from a retirement home, a hospital bed, wherever you may be, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayers. We pray for more vocations to the priesthood and consecrated life. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayers. For the intentions of our donor from Renfrew, Ontario, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayers. For all who have gone home, May they rest in peace. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayers. Lord God, give us stamina. Give us the determination of champions, not in worldly contests, but in becoming disciples of your Son. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, to your goodness we have this bread to offer, which earth has given and human hands have made. It will become for us the bread of life. Yes, Through the mystery of this water and wine, may we come to share in the divinity of Christ, who humbled himself to share in our humanity. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation. To your goodness we have this wine to offer. Free to the vine and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Yes, we God, Lord God, we ask you to receive us and be pleased with the sacrifice we offer you with humble and contrite hearts. Lord, wash away my iniquity and cleanse me from my sins. 